Hi folks on our show today we have India's one of the most top most lawyers I'm thankful to her that I could manage her on my show extremely busy person when you talk about lawyers lawyers are the people who prosecute or defend a particular judgment with us we have a lawyer with a difference we must have heard about corporate law we must have heard about the criminal lawyers but here what we are going to talk about is something very important media law on our show today we have the most talked about lady savina bedi sachar ma'am thank you for obliging us your precious interview completely my pleasure ma'am has been extremely busy and uh, once again i would like to thank her for extracting time and giving it to us ma'am when we talk about you are ma'am is a member of vipo world intellectual property rights she is one of the rare lawyers of the country who specializes in ipr the intellectual property rights ma'am when we talk about the iprs it's more to do with the human intellect and something which is intangible so how do you i cannot feel anything but yet i can come under the ipr law could you tell us something more that's, about that's the importance of a lawyer who protects ipr who protects intellectual property as of now uh, i'm giving this interview and now this interview is yours it's your intellectual property right so tomorrow uh, you know we would do some sort of after this interview some sort of release form or we would do some document where i would write and give you that look this interview that you have shot of mine the rights in that are yours now right so tomorrow if this interview it is infringed by a third party or it goes you know someone else tries to use it so how will you prove that it is yours you will only be able to prove through that paper okay. right so sometime back i had a client here and uh, we were watching something on youtube on the tv and suddenly he saw one ad or a trailer which was of his film and he says hey this is my film this is my trailer so i said did you do an agreement do you have some papers so he said no i haven't done an agreement i don't have papers i said okay then pick up that tv and take it home <laughs> because you saw your film on my tv okay. right so that's the importance of a lawyer when it comes to intangible property which is intellectual property so uh, there are four types of ipr i'll just cross check with ma'am one is copyright trademark patent and trade secret am i right ma'am these are the four so there are a few more like geographical indicators these are the important ones trade secrets are more uh, to do with contractual law okay. so a trademark is basically a name i normally explain it uh, with the example of nike because if you see the word nike so that is a trademark but it's a word mark so you have to own even trademarks have different types of marks in it so nike the word itself is a word mark which is a trademark the tick is a logo okay. and the tick with the word and or just uh, do it is a label so there are different types of breakdowns in different types of ipr like in trademark you have word marks labels and logos which are also called as device marks in copyrights there are four types of works which can be protected one is literary two is dramatic musical and artistic now literary can be a story a screenplay or a book anything that you have written okay a uh, dramatic would normally be audio visual okay something that has drama to it artistic can be a painting or it can be any work that is basically what an artist would make and musical obviously would involve music it would involve sounds it would involve background music 
so every type of ip is break, broken down in two further categories geographical indicators for example are basically something that indicates uh the importance of that product visa vis the place where that product is found like assam assam has tea okay uh so there is some special type of tea assam tea yes. okay banaras banaras banarsi sarees okay then you have a very famous case where if someone in the us was trying to register basmati rice hmm. as a geographical indicator of the us and india all went and fought that matter and they said no basmati is india's geographical indicator oh. so that's the importance of a geographical indicator then uh, next is patents so patents are normally process patents or product patents okay a uh, lot of countries recognize software patents but that's still a gray area for india ideally we should be recognizing is what i feel but it's a bit of a gray area of course we have very competent people now in our uh, uh, ip registries and uh, they are definitely going to look up, look into it in fact uh, the controller general of ip is a person called mr unnat pandit i haven't seen anyone more enterprising than him okay. the way he is all the time working and organizing i'm i'm sure he is going to take india's ip index very high so there are these ip index uh, you know where there are uh, agencies across the world which actually rate every country in terms of their ip index and uh, with a leader like this i'm sure we are going very high i i have the luck i am getting the opportunity to work with him on a lot of things so i can speak out about him very closely one of my most intense interviews with ma'am ma'am uh, normally we are into digital platform and then you have the satellite which we talk about television now digital is taking over from satellite people want to watch everything on a small screen now on ott and small screens this one problem which we often face suppose that there is a musical program or we are doing a kind of a show in which for instance uh, there is a particular song by t series so there are a lot of confusion some people say that uh, no no you can ends there won't be any and then or if you play more than 10 seconds you will get a notice from them and then at the same time they say no 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 don't play you get a notice so copyright music industry is very very bad in uh, especially the t series people they love giving notices ma'am uh more than you know i don't uh, specifically mention about t series we can even say any of the old uh, music companies that own music and there are quite a few of them uh they have to protect their music which is not easy because you have you know there is so much content there is so much content individuals are making content you know then, and can, can you there is no there is nothing in the copyright act which allows you to use something which belongs to someone else or a work which belongs to someone else for free for any number of seconds there is a section which talks about fair use okay so fair use like suppose you are using it for research or you are using it for news so there can be a particular number of seconds that you can use it but that is not really defined and uh, you know there, there is an understanding vis a vis news channels because and that too it wasn't to give some special benefit to them so what was happening is that if a news channel runs half an hour of a match of an maybe an ipl match under the pretext of saying oh we are news we come under fair use okay so that's unfair because someone is spending money on that someone is and you are using it saying it's fair use tomorrow if someone 
uh, you know, we we have a very well known uh, client. Her name is Miss Simi Garewal. So she's made this show called Rendezvous. Yeah, yeah, very, uh, very, very popular. Show. Yeah, Rendezvous with Simi Garewal. And uh, now we normally see that whenever uh, you know there is some happy occasion or there is some unfortunately sad occasion also. people love to play clips from her show okay so you know like for example jay lalita uh when the late jay lalita expired okay all the news channels obviously wanted to run that now simi ji has a knack of getting the best answers out of <laughs> the most closed people i won't say most close or out of anyone actually i won't say close people or open people but she somehow people get comfortable with her give her answers which normally people won't give at uh, outside or in other interviews so and uh, she owns the ip to her shows so and fantastically done i mean you know anyone loves to watch any episode of her amazing show even today value. amazing production value she is so specific and meticulous about everything and how things will look you know what will it's not about money it's about class when it comes to her now if you have you know news channel saying oh we are news we come under fair use so you know we'll use so many minutes or we'll show her whole episode you know that's unfair to the creator uh along with the times you have rendezvous when you, when you talk about rendezvous simi garewal uh, there is definitely an element of class which you have said the word one word class says it all on to the contrary we have the coffee with karan uh now we are pulling ourselves into controversies <laughs> <laughs> I you guess uh, so. I have had the opportunity of working with Star. I have a few mugs here of coffee with Karan also lying. Uh, Simi ji is like family. Um, I can't compare the two shows. Okay, I already said Simi ji's show is I class. I buy it. Whatever you say, I, I completely. And subscribe. once you've appreciated something, you don't need to not appreciate something else. to increase the value of something you've appreciated that's all i'll say <laughs> <laughs> that's a good one that's a good one uh ma'am is uh, we will we'll, we'll just talk to ma'am one last question about the digital media which is coming up and uh, what is the difference between these satellite television and digital there are no much rules and regulations for digital as such now the internet it has come now but the government uh, is working on it okay, okay? so it's not like india is some far behind digital the revolution has uh, you know uh, the pace of the revolution the digital revolution or the digi digital era is so fast that even within the digital you know um, mediums you start with one and by the time you make rules and regulations or the law for one there's something else that is added to it so it is something that uh, is going at a very fast pace and uh, luckily we have a lot of laws which um, even our old laws from the british era okay they are well enough uh, you know developed to protect us to to a certain extent when it comes to even digital errors so even if you go to you know the the laws which are pre partition okay like the ipc or certain other laws you they are sufficiently developed our constitution is so brilliantly written you know that we find answers even to the latest technologies wow. you know in these laws so i guess there's nothing to worry for india uh, and we have managed well enough okay of course it would help 
to have a separate you know set of rules and a separate set of laws like you know some time back there was one case which again of a famous lady producer went up to the supreme court for obscenity and the judge in the supreme court made a comment saying that the lady is corrupting the minds of the younger generation <laughs> i guess people know you know it went uh, it was far spread over the internet that news okay so we have certain incidents uh, but then what happens is obviously the courts use these other laws and we have a basic you know draft and a code in place it will come out very soon okay we have to be careful when we draft laws okay uh, because i'm also working with the government to amend and uh, revise certain laws okay. so as in working with the government as in not really working working full time but of course offering my time and services uh and you have to be careful because a law is a law once you have the law to amend it it again takes years yeah. yeah so you have to think of every word and there are people who are sitting to to twist and turn and to you know uh, to suit their old ways okay so i guess things take a little bit of time not only in india i've seen it i've done arbitrations internationally i have done cases internationally whether it's a it's germany or the us okay i guess our legal system our judges um and our judiciary is one of the best in the world wow we are the best in the world coming right from the horse's mouth you talk about gender equality on international women's day you had a statement where uh, you talk about equality read about me yeah I, i do my homework ma'am and in fact i was getting scared of i mean seeing you i mean meeting you for the first time i was scared of because you are so busy in your work and temperament like so anyway I thanks a lot for giving to scare anyone no no but so that was I your intention but i got scared easy. yeah that that is i am seeing this beautiful office friends lovely office Thank i you. can smell genuine leather and this beautiful books around it gives me a very good feel last question on gender uh, gender equality and then we'll wind up so i guess you know uh, visa is getting talked about or getting respected um i guess the only people who can spoil it is women okay <laughs> because <laughs> the laws anyways any man is i mean i'm sorry to say but even thinks twice our law is strong enough to even make them think twice if they hold or if they shake hands for a little a few seconds more than what it yeah. should be yeah so i guess they have some thoughts running behind their head ki i hope this handshake will not get me into trouble okay so our laws are strong enough it has been misused by certain ladies which scares me a bit because uh, uh, we don't only do now we have a full fledged for several years we have a full fledged law firm we do criminal law we do family law ma'am with all due respect media. with all due respect women card is to be seen everywhere this is wrong <laughs> i guess there are categories of poor men who are really innocent and other men who deserve a lot more <laughs> punishment than what they get okay so there's both sides of the coin coin unfortunately we have children who suffer at the hands of some men you know girl girl a girl child and i have i've been involved with certain matters which really hurts me okay and uh, then we have things like the juvenile justice yes. act yes. where people get away with certain sins you know people between the men between i won't call them children sorry some of they are intelligent enough to be called men matured, matured enough yes matured is a better word matured enough to be called men between the age of 16 and 18 
and that is being misused so that's something which really hurts me so because i have been involved with a lot of criminal matters and lot of nothing uh, so i guess uh, you know there should be a healthy balance of course you know we just got into a race into the race a little later than the men okay so yes we should get some privilege okay we should get some privilege okay i don't uh, deny that okay uh, like you know at times someone some people come and tell me you know you're a senior lawyer but why don't we just check with an x y z you know he is senior to you and i say yeah i agree i was born 10 years late <laughs> if, I, if i had i was born 10 years earlier then maybe i would have you would be saying the same thing to him or her okay so maybe we got into the race a little we bit later so we in numbers we might be you know a little more like very uh, recently a few months back uh, there was a lady uh, lawyer who expired and the headlines or wherever it was covered in the papers was the only designated senior lady lawyer expired you know so You, that's 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 the point you know so and i read that and i said oh okay so <laughs> if you see the number of judges in the high courts the men uh, are more than the women okay but i guess it's just that we got into the race a little later rest we uh, there is i mean you know we are more than equal <laughs> last question will wind up was demonetization a good move demonetization to demonetize and to demonize okay are two different things but i think it got jumbled up because what happened is that it was so suddenly announced look if you're trying to flush out something that has been accumulated over the years you have to realize that there are smaller people or there are people who really didn't have that intent and just had some amount of cash lying at home or something lying at home because they never ever expected something like this did you see the lines outside the banks did you see who was standing in those lines did you see i will not name people but did you see the number 1 and the number 8 and the number 10 in the world richest people in the world standing in those lines or did you even see their staff standing in those lines that's all that i can say about that so it i only i feel that of course our government thinks about everything they have a reason to do this it is not like you know i've seen how our government is working i don't want to get into left and right because my policy is no left no right bas india ka future ho bright oh, lovely. Lovely. Uh, so i don't get into left right this that nothing okay i just feel that you know if if it had been announced theek hai a few people may may have got 24 hours extra to you know maybe do something in, but actually people who had hoarded yes. tons of paper and you know what i say mean when i say paper they <laughs> they, <laughs> they they wouldn't have uh, you know worth 1000 rupees each <laughs> they wouldn't have been able to dispose it off so soon so i i my only only you know i i only felt bad was that you know there were elderly people there were people who lost their life earnings because they did not believe in uh, digital money and things like that because they weren't for them from, from that era and i saw people suffering because of that but overall i guess it was good for the country and that's why it was done right. one of india's most talked about soaps tarak mehta ka ulta chashma household name मैम 
is an advocate and lawyer for the Tarak Mehta called Tachashma. Let's try to find out something more from her, if she's in a mood to answer. Mr. Asid Modi is the creator mm. of the show. Mm. And um, I'm lucky to have worked with him. No, no, I think they are lucky. They've been running for so many years without any issue. So obviously you have to be there. Touch wood. Touch wood. So fingers crossed and touch wood would all I would say for that. Mm. And uh, definitely I any client, you know, especially someone as big as uh, Mr. Modi, Mr. Asit Modi and Tarak Mehta Kolta Chashma, uh, if I am working with them on a regular basis, I would, uh, you know, prefer that all their solutions are found in agreements rather than arguments. <laughs> and... Hats off to ma'am. Tarak Mehta Kaulta Chashma has been running for years. And Mr. Asit Modi seems to be a very relaxed man. When, I mean, the lady is around, how can anyone touch you? Lovely talking to you, ma'am. As candid as ever. And my privilege to have this wonderful interview of yours. My and privilege. My privilege too. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Keep watching Dikpu News. Hey, if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button and if you wish to see more of our content, hit that subscribe button.